Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to the stream. And there we have Explain showing. It's, I think, just before 4 a.m. So we're going to probably have a sunrise kind of a flight again. Um, it is still dark because we're flying in real time and we are almost at San Francisco. So high up in California. Welcome uh, to Uncle John, McTrying, and Paul. Nice to have Good you guys. Day, Nico. Hello. Thank you. Nice to have the crew with us. And uh, I've just connected to Vatsum, so anybody who wants to fly with you are more than welcome to join and, you know, enjoy it with us. So, this is the latest version, and the guys have got questions, and I don't have answers yet. So, we'll get into it when we have answers. A couple of things I just want to quickly check on the display. Uh, heading up is the one thing I want to check, and then the other one is on the next page where we should be on inches. I just want to see if I saved it yesterday, because otherwise I need to save it quickly. Smart, orange, white. I forgot that. Okay, we'll fix that. Flaps and speed, that's fine. Uh, inches. We need to be on inches. Because this is an American flight. Anyway, so hopefully that's now saved. Uh, let's get our ground services. Do we need a GPU? No, we can use the one from the gate. So we've got all of these little things. Pre plan our pushback. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Okay, just a thought. Yes. If you're flying in America and you want inches, are you going to fly using pounds? No. No, that I'm not even going to contemplate. No, no chance. All right. Okay. Let's yeah. Talk it. All right. So let's go for weights and fuels. Uh, we'll stick to that page. Just get some light on the subject here. You got me, Uncle John. Affirmative. Beautiful. You tucked up top right hand almost corner. Beautiful, beautiful. 1876 you are. Yes. What, that's his date of birth? Yeah, I'm old, man. <laughs> Didn't you know that? Didn't you know that? Right, let's start our alignment as well. Okay, so. Right, there's some toolkit pro. So let's quickly look at our weights. We're going to have zero fuel weight, 62.1, which we need to verify. Fuel is 5.3, takeoff weight 67.3, and our payload will be 19. All right, so let's start inputting these things. Very nice night lighting, eh? Okay, I think we're 
done with that. So, let's see what's next. Hmm, I don't think I've exported this. Let me just export this real quickly. Guys, when I look up like this, I've got the sun in my eyes. I just want to pull the blind down. Give me a second. Right, I'm back. Hello, Lucien. Right, what are we looking for? We're looking for 67.3, we're at 67, so that will be a little bit extra uh, fuel for taxi there. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle John. Thank you for the night. did we get? I didn't even check that. Oh, what did somebody give us? Flight level 350, right? I'll you all hmm? You ought to add a rider to that. Sorry, I'm not with you. Say again. I said that John ought to add a rider to that message he posted. That's obviously dependent on EasyJet not being delayed getting to Paris. Uh, we stand in faith, we believe it will be okay. No winds again, by the way. No winds here or in our A. It's like nothing. Just nothing. It should be very smoggy in LA then. There's no breeze. And it's not, it's not even an awful lot of weather around. A little bit over the mountains and that's it. We were playing around with the precipitation option in live map on Sim Toolkit Pro yesterday. Uh -huh. You might want to show that option to your viewers when you uh, yeah. look up the appropriate. We can do that.
Oh, these things with that overlap so much. Managed to bypass them now. Alright, so we see 350. And landing altitude is 150. It's fine. Right, let's get our weather. I'd like to land to active sky quickly as well. Kilo, Sierra, Juliet, Charlie, airport information, Foxtrot 1, Sierra 5, 3, Zulu. Audio device. I wish that these guys would make it save the preferred audio device. It's really irritating having to do it every flight. Kilo, Sierra, Juliet, Charlie, airport information, Golf 1053, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 10, sky clear, temperature 8, 2.6, altimeter 3025. Advise on initial contact that you have information, Golf. Kilos. Alright, let's start our flight leg. And our term is 5.25 Right Guys, the wheel's on board There is our law enforcement officer Okay, are you guys ready? I suppose we can get going. We don't need to sit another 10 minutes like with Ryanair. So let's get this APU going. As ready as I'll ever be. Awesome, Matt Ryan. like your enthusiasm there. Just wake me up me like when you land and tell me the old gold stars. Okay. Don't go there. <laughs> Fine. Well I I uh did another circuit of Manchester and got a very bad landing. So it's gonna be interesting. Hmm. Did you find the pop out pool or whatever it is that gives the information or negative. So no, nothing to select or deselect. Um, I didn't have time to do much looking around, to be honest. The stream started, so I wanted yeah. to watch this. What I'll do is, once we're in the air, we can go and look, uh, read through the tablet, see if we can see anything. Well, if you find it, your eyesight is better than mine. Cool. I'm relying on you, so I can turn the damn thing off.
Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, one more bird flight today. We're wrapping up the final paperwork here. Should get you on your way momentarily. I want to thank you so much for your company and business. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Again, welcome aboard. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Captain has to the fastest seatbelt. Time we do ask that all passengers take your seat at this time and please fasten your seatbelt. Just as a reminder, we cannot leave the gain until here and items are properly put away. All overhead bins are closed and all passengers are seated. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Okay, I've just ordered some coffee, it should be here soon. On that note, Nico. Yes. Can you get can you get Nescafe Latte Sachets? Yes. In, oh, thank God for that. Yeah. They cost you an arm and they again South Africa. Well, if they do, I shall bring some with me. Nico will have to advise. So connected yeah, and by captain serving. Release parking brake. Plus cappuccino. Um, I think I forgot to connect my virtual airline. Let me just connect my flight before we make a, another mistake again. Ah, thank you. Goodness, I remembered that. Right, let's go. Starting for stack, and you may start engines. Nico's playing into your hands, Paul. You can start your witchcraft dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'd like to see, and that's a photograph of Uncle John arriving at Joburg with his pockets bulging of all the stuff that he's had had to cram in there, like his sachets of coffee and all that malarkey. It's very funny. Well, he's already realised that he's going to have masses of pockets because he's got no room for clothes in his case. He's got to wear them all out. Ah, uh, that's true. Hey, Kevin. Operation complete, set parking brake. Brake set, don't get in. Disconnecting tow, stand by. John, there's a question for you. Yes, sir. I'm going to be honest with you, the only reason I'm going there is to deliver some chocolate to, by hand. <laughs> I'm not going to go and see Nico for a, or anything like that. I'm going to see his wife. So it's disconnected and by fast and has been removed. Can't signal so on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe place. Meant to be. <laughs>
I can just picture you in that in your dark suit delivering chocolate through the window like that 1970s chocolate advert. <laughs> well, the chances are it'll be I'll be in um, uh, something completely different to a dark suit. Shorts, yeah, shorts and sandals. Negative. Hello, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, we had our innings this morning. I ate the biggest load of crap on earth. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You see, concentrate. I'm having my coffee and Tim Tam here now. Don't concentrate. Mm. And he's not even going to get a sniff of it. Yeah, Uncle John. We'll, we'll discuss the Bultong situation when you come here. Don't you worry. Oh, yes, John. We we'll all want presents from you when you come back as well. So we expect to see your pockets bulging on the way out. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, go for that system. You go somewhere with <laughs> everyone in presence. He's only bribing people who are going to provide him with somewhere to rest his head. Sure. Yeah, he's in for a treat. I'm telling you, we're going to introduce him to Bry Place and Bultong. Right, guys. Please be careful with the tra with the uh, language. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We'll send you pictures of Bry Place and Biltong with Uncle John standing next to that Bry and the fire and the f you know meat. Uh. And, uh, he's gonna go back and he's gonna say, "Why do the English not have this?" Mm. Get on with it. <laughs> Okay, I need to see where on earth the heck I'm supposed to go. I lost that line. Oh, it's because it stopped. Okay, so from what I can see, I need to turn right. Okay. Hey, Samuel. Good afternoon. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good Just flight. realized that I did not flick all the switches. Flight attendants prepare for departure, cross check, and all call. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, well, let me just check that some quickly. Just make sure we don't go and fly into controlled airspace without knowing it. And there's definitely no aircraft in the area, right, so we can go. Captain Hio, good morning. Approaching, one, two, right. Got somebody behind you. It's I probably reckon my that's double. Why, that's mm -hmm. right, that's why Nico likes to fly at night in America. On runway, one, two, right. Before they wake up. No, it's just because I always fly real time and I can't help it's night time there. <laughs> I thoroughly agree with you. Um, 80 knots. Here's another example of a runway that's got the set line lit with concentrated white lines. Your lighting colouring at the moment is to be complimented. One thousand. Thank you. It actually looks quite realistic from what I can remember the last time. Yeah. yeah, it does, it does, really. That's the uh, extended night lighting, isn't it, Nico? Yeah, the first bit is not, but the last bit there on the horizon side, that's the extent. But the colouring is set to be got for it. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, look at the bats and weather again. The guide's missing us around. Nine knots from the tail, but the guide's pushing us. Let's quickly go over this. It's not that some weather, this is just a normal active sky weather. Okay. Apology but skies. A, but a tailwind on the aircraft can have a greater effect. Yeah. Crosswind on. Well, it's but coming it's straight from behind, so whatever it's doing, it's obviously disrupting the flow of the air over. Over the bin. Yeah. Definitely having an impact, which is cool. I can live with this. Go and check um, on, f on flight aware of one of these. I just took one. Well, the reason I was saying is if you take it off that way, assuming they land in that way, and I was thinking air traffic would surely take into account that um, the aircraft would have a tailwind until they got down to the ground level. Yeah. Well, it started. I think at about 2,000 feet, that's when I started picking up the wind, if my memory serves me correctly. So, yeah, we just basically flew into it. Yeah. Hello, potato chip.
small amount of precipitation on your left hand side of mountain mountains. <coughs> Hello Dominic. Yeah, I left that so I don't be Oh yeah. Could be like a mountain wind or something. I mean that's in like a valley, yeah? We're going through. So it could be some other mountain wind kind of interference thing. You're also going to fly it through somewhere. A lot further down there. Yeah. But they are only little pockets. Oh, yeah, right. If you notice, though, that's over high ground. All, all the bad weather seems to be over the Sierra Nevada mountains. Yeah, no, mostly there, there, but there's a couple there right in my flight path if you watch the screen. That's what I was looking at, yeah. Yes, I was thinking that a seven knot tailwind wouldn't really have much of an effect if you tank it along like a couple of hundred knots. Oh, it does, because there is no shielding of fin. If you take the wind hitting you off the nose, you've got the fuselage and everything, the wing and all the rest of it. But when you've got the wind that's directly on a fin, it has a much larger effect always. If I'm remembering all the maps, bits and pieces properly. Well, it sounds plausible. Well, that's interesting because um, the way I picture it in my head is that the aeroplane's flying through a block of air and if that block of air itself is moving, that's the, either the headwind or the tailwind or sidewind. And I don't see that as having a direct influence on the flying surfaces. If it's just a smooth um, head or tailwind, yeah, little pockets this... of little pockets of turbulence hitting you, I consider that to be something slightly separate. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. This is more turbulent um, kind of uh, airflow. This is not just one smooth piece of wind that we went through there. Yeah. Well, all you've got to do is think. If you go glide and fly, there's any sort of like block of cloud, and you look at the lifts within. Have you ever seen when they've tried to fly a glider with one wing in the cloud and one out and have a lift just completely different? I've actually never seen that. I can imagine it, Mark, yeah. Um, as I say, that feels more like a localised effect rather than an yeah. oh. air mass effect. Yeah. Uh, well, if it was an even, the aircraft managed to trim it out. It, as you say, it's when it's a slight gusting. How realistic that is uh, to a real 737, I couldn't tell you, I don't have to ask for 737. I was having a chat with one of the guys the other day, and we were discussing realism in the Zebo versus realism in the real world, you know how it could and the only limiting factor currently is basically the X-Plane itself. The X-Plane doesn't support quite a few things that you would expect in the real world. And um, I had a list of it, got it from the guy while we were talking. Um, I can't remember what it is, but it's, uh, you know, small little things that the real world guys know of that we don't know of. That's, it's simply just not in X-Plane. So, um, 
speaks that is physically limited, and by the way, I didn't speak to him about it, it was one of the other real moments. So, um, Dexter is limited in what he can do with a flight model, and that's why at one point in time he made his own experimental one just to get beyond the limitations in X Plane. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. was also why he had problems when x plane updated the model, wasn't it? And why he says he got the parameter off. Yeah. What would be interesting is to see the model that Twixter actually uses in his own machine. Just bring your mic a little bit closer. Or put some gusto in it. You know what that means, Mark? Speak gusto. up, brother. Speak up, brother. It means I've got to wake up. To yes, wake up the dog. Yes. Yeah, good, good. He's learning. Yeah. Right, well, this isn't a super long flight. There's the top of the climb and there's the top of the descent. So this plane better get a move on now. You haven't left your arm brake on, have you? Negative. Wheels up. Speed brake is not even armed. Flaps up. About 50 minutes, Uncle John. 5 0. You surprise me. Why? 7 miles a minute. I'm just reading off the FMC. I oh, put no perfect, mathematics perfect. in there. Okay. Um, Nico, here's something you can show some people. If you go to an external view behind the aircraft yeah. at an appropriate time. Yeah, I'll wait there. Then press Control left sequence through oh, yeah. and beyond. No, it's not something, but for those that are interested in Yeah, I don't know, no, I think it's a cool thing to show. We'll do that. 3.23 should be. shows you the airflow, Uncle John. Thank you. And you have to actually keep on hitting the control that you go through the different types of views of it. Yeah, 
I think what what we'll have to do there you go there's a little bit more what we'll have to do we're trying is do it during the day because it's a bit dark now okay. I thought it was a show Hey, as you live, the CFG, it's showing that you've actually got some, the lift forces downwards on the yes. tail at the moment. Notice. Yeah, I saw that. Interesting. If, if you look at the top, um, John, when you press through, it tells you what you're looking at, what falls is. Right at the top of that view. Yeah, I've got it. Here's your wake turbulence. <laughs> When we get to the next leg sometime um, and it's daytime, we'll check it out again. Anyway, just thought that a little bit more. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I like that, Max. Thank you. What to me? I was listening to a Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 video earlier. The guys say that they're going to make the actual points um, on the fuselage, on the wings, everything that's got an influence on the flying characteristics is going to be more than 1,000 points that are going to by the weather and all that makes up uh, your flight model because they were talking comparing it with old FSX and P3D where you've got a single point that is affected and now they're going to have a thousand points that they're going to measure and take into account yeah wow. yeah I got involved in looking all those flare flows when there was a lot of criticism about the X-plane model with single prop aircraft, especially tail wheel aircraft, and trying to land them in slight crosswinds. And we criticised the forces that were being applied, especially from the propeller. Thousand to go.
Alright, so that takes care of the FMC for us. The only thing we need to do is obviously just put the um, Q and H uh, ultimate at 3015. We need to put that uh, to our aircraft. We, we will do that just now. Right, that means we just need to set our descent altitude. We're gonna go down to 2,200 unless ATC pops online and blocks us. Of course, Dominica, we Um, yes, portions of it does work with some toolkit, but it's not finished yet, so don't don't bank on it yet. I spoke to Dan about it yesterday. He said that he'll try and bring out another patch sometime in the week. Uh, one of the things that does not work currently is you cannot save your PFPX OFP in some toolkit. So you can import it and it's there and it looks lovely while you're flying. But when you go back to your logbook afterwards, um, it's not there, whereas with some brief it obviously saves a copy uh, for you. So, um, for that reason, I'm not very keen on using it in some toolkit pro. I'm sticking to some brief. But basically, what you do is in your PFPX, you need to look for the save button. There's a big save button on your menu. If you click save, then you will save a text format of your uh, BFPX OFP. Just put it on your desktop somewhere. It's a text file. And then basically when you are on, let me, let me say, when you are on this page, you're obviously now gonna have a blank. So what you just do is there at the top, you say load my own OFP file. You point it to your BFPX text file, uh, import it, and then obviously the whole you know, PFPX OFP goes and sits there, but it doesn't save it, so I hope, and, and from what I understand, it will be sorted in the week. Pleasure. 
I never release the passengers, so they can get up at their own discretion now until we get to 10,000. I'll put the seatbelt sign on again. No sign of sun up. Well, it's 4.52. I purposefully put the clock on the local time, so it's 4.52 a.m. I would have imagined it would be coming up already, but obviously not, so... I'm just wondering if you're going to hit that precipitation. Yeah, we'll see. Hello, Steve. Yeah, Steve, that's it's good for reference. That's what mine looks like. Um, it also gives you a more favorable wind flight level if you were interested in it. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it, but it's very nice to have that information. I think we need um, an award system for software that's released, such as uh, SimTalking Pro. I mean, he needs a gold. Well, Uncle John, there are such programs. I think most of the publications have got something like that already. And AFSIM has got the AFSIM awards, and you know, we must just find one that's appropriate. Well, I'm thinking for our own group. Oh, for our own group. Oh, okay. Does that not ring any bells for you? Yeah. Sounds nice. I suppose you could do a, uh, a, a top add-ons list that, as a group, we'd recommend. Yeah, but that's what I'm you thinking. Would do it as uh, the people within the group vote for each one of the add-ons so that it's completely open vote. Not Value ship from the members. Yes, rather than, uh, you know, driven, shall we say, by a core few. Agreed, Kevin, because um, it's the members themselves who, who should be uh, validating the actual software or what it is for them. And I mean, there are add-ons we use for Zero, but we now just take for granted, like Terrain Radar and Better Pushback. The Better Pushback is one of the best pieces of add-on free software then. For sure. Along with Sim Toolkit Pro. Oh, that's for me, it's really, that that really is up in the in the rafters. Did you see he his stream last night and he did say he'd be streaming again today? No, I missed that. Yeah, you were back at a different time. He reiterated several things that he hoped to do in the future. Um, things that he decided that weren't appropriate this time and things like this, but he did say that it would always remain free and that he had other ideas about the monetizing or support of the software. Well, this last update 
that uh, he was speaking about coming in the week will be the last one on this version and the next version will be version 6 coming out soon. I hear what you're saying Kevin, uh, 2020, that said I'm sure that, um, that our guys are not sitting on the back sides waiting for them to be overtaken, they're continuing and they will continue improving. See X plane dying, not for one second. Oh, no. yeah. Any lover of Zebo and what is achieved, and I can't see the plane being really that much better than anywhere, are going to support X plane just to continue buying Zebo. Agreed, but X plane people themselves are not sitting on the backsides, they're still working very hard to improve, of course. Yes. They all want the big chunk of the market. Those who have already bought quite a number of add-ons for x aren't just going to abandon it overnight. No. I was reading through the Flotsam 2020 Facebook page the other day. There were two or three guys who said the moment we got the alpha we uninstalled P3D and x immediately, never going to go back. And I thought to myself, gee, whatever. Well, for me, x -Plane is still one of the cheapest way of getting a good flight simulator. Well, cost versus benefit, it's, it's million miles ahead of anything else. Cost versus benefit, you can't beat it. Affirmative. Me personally, I dread the idea of having to start over from scratch with nothing, having to spend a hundred thousand rand again to get all the airports and the aircraft and everything else that will make my flight sim 2020 even reasonably close to what I haven't explained right now. Right, just for a quickie, if you've got a couple of seconds to kill me, Kevin. Yeah, uh, let me just say, let me just say good morning to Joseph and yes, Dominic, I uh, did notice. Okay, go for it, Dominic. Can you bring up Sim Toolkit Pro on the map? Yeah, he's just gone through that um, precipitation. Can you see right. it? Right. right, now zoom out so you can see the whole of the America. Go on, keep going. The whole of North America is Canada. Zoom right out. Yeah. Right, now we'll move it across and have a look at Europe, UK and Northern Europe. Just drag it across.
hand. Look at the weather. Mm. Oh, Crazy. I'm waiting for the precipitation to show. Well, it is showing there at the top. Yeah, and if you zoom in, what's going up the English Channel and across the oh, south yeah, of England? Yeah. Oh no, there's a Oliver weather system there. Wow. Just turn off ATC for a minute and then that'll uh that's him ATC and that'll clear that uh, green triangle. Yeah, look at that. Wicked. Back to flying. Hello, uh, Ryan. I'm glad and um, given. It's good to know it wasn't that bad. And Marvin. Uh, oh, thank you, Nico. You're welcome. Uh, Marvin, this is Sim Toolkit Pro. So it's just a map in some toolkit pro that we've got and then we've got the uh, bad some stuff that we can enable and disable on it as well. Some toolkit pro is my recommended new toy if you guys are interested in seeing what that is happening on the networks and stuff because you can you can see that some Iveo uh, some toolkit pros own traffic as well as pilot it's all on one map so it's amazing it's really really good. Um, just gonna zoom in let me just show you so there's a pilot edge guy there at the bottom why did it go away it needs to refresh All right there's a pilot edge guy right at the bottom the purple the green is fatsome that's me over there and I don't see any Iveo guys in this area so we'll probably have to zoom out a little bit to get an Iveo piece of traffic Nobody in the US. Oh, there we go. These light blue guys. Let's just pull up a bit. There you go. The light blue guys, or whatever that color is, those are the Iveo guys. So we've got the green is Batsum, the others will then be Iveo. Yeah, you can change those options yeah. within the option setting. Yeah. Um, anyway, Dominic, to come back to your um, reference earlier of the tight turn, there is no turn. It's The turn is only visible on the uh, Simple Kit Pro map. Basically, we are going to fly parallel to the track and we have to vector ourselves into position to actually uh, come back and intercept uh, the Circus um, waypoint for the ILS approach. Marvin, just as a matter of interest, I've also got the uh, Web FMC integrated, so I can run the whole of the Zebo FMC straight from here. Uh, we've also got Active Sky integrated in terms of the briefing page, and then it also integrates with Navigraph. So I've got everything at my fingertips in one application. Very well worth it. I think the way that Nico's promoted this sim toolkit pro he ought to be given a free copy oh thank you mcdrawing he's got a free copy <laughs> he's, he's joking <laughs> hello andre he's got all the swirls and everything in his hmm. 
And every time he, he drinks it, they replace it. I, there is one way that we can kill it, though. We just have to get him trapped in the electricity cup. You leave my electricity alone. You are not a socialist loser. You don't touch my electricity again. Well. <laughs> No, I would, uh, if I could get you an emergency power source, Nico, I think you would accept it. Yeah, no, if you give me an emergency power source right now, I'll be very happy. Dan's a really, really, really nice guy. Yeah. For sure. Did you say he's on our Discord server these days? No, yes. Is he on our Discord? I didn't know yes. that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But the... Um, Matthias from the Updater has also joined us and they're all part of our Zebo Pilots group anyway. You know, so we, we're getting all the big guns together now. Right. Can you remember to ask me something about Sim Toolkit Pro when you're off screen. Okay, sure. If you don't want to mention it now, I'll try to remember, yes. No, I don't want to mention it. Okay. Ooh, the intrigue. You finished that list off, by the way, Nico? Which list now again, Uncle John? Oh, you mean the startup listing? No, I haven't. No, I didn't have okay. electricity. Okay, okay, how many asking? <laughs> yeah, I'm only saying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um. What was the other thing I wanted to say now? I can't remember. Not be that important. No, that was just. little FYI. Right, so I'm going to go into editing mode now. And then we will just vector ourselves a little bit later. I'm not sure if I'm really going to go to the end of this line. To go to Circus all the way, that's almost at Ontario, if not past Ontario. That's actually past Ontario? No, just before Ontario. And I'm going to go all the way there. That's a hell of a long way to go for no reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch out for this little diamond. Once it goes high uh, above us, we're going to turn around. I'll cut out some of the fluff there. Hello, Christer. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Chris. Um, just as a matter of interest, Paul, two things. Yeah. Number one, as a moderator on the Discord, you can come in and out of this room. You should be able to come without any hassle. Did you try that? I thought I did, but I'll... Okay. Um, we can test can it check. later. We can test it later. Okay. Secondly, if you look at the wind currently in acting on us, it's obviously stable wind. It's not a complete directly from behind, but look, it is still from behind, but there's no shaking and everything. So I yeah. think the story we were discussing earlier is very relevant. This is stable wind. It's not a problem. The stuff we went through were very turbulent wind. Yeah. And it's also interesting to note, now that you're on heading select, the wind is pushing you off the yes. line slightly, yeah. which is to be expected. Yes. We can actually turn a little bit to just correct that.
afternoon, Johan. Right, and for you guys who are interested, there's the change log on 339.22. Um, that's the latest zip, but I'll grab it once I've landed, because this is still version 20, 21, I think. Yeah, 21, I'm flying. Krister, uh, let's have a look see, not sure. I don't think there's any speed restrictions. We on 210, 210 at our discretion. No, there's no speed restrictions. There is, however, altitude restrictions. So we need to be careful of that. By the way, it's not even. It's not even 22. It's 22A. Yes. Correct. Uh, Dominic from the Google Drive, it's in the Google Drive. It's fresh, it's uh, really fresh. That's why it's probably not propagated over to uh, Matthias' server yet. So it will be there in a few minutes. Go look on the org, that's the best I can do. Just type in X space plane space cloud texture, see what it comes up with. Google it. Best best answer. Later see power was released sixteen minutes ago. Yeah, sixteen minutes, he said it's fresh. Brand Yes. Yeah, you have to select make a copy and you have to have space in your own drive you have to be logged into your own drive there's a couple of rules otherwise that will not work either but then it's a local problem on your side because uh, google made it to work with make a copy that's fine ryan i think you got the message i mean i just ignored you at one point in time so i mean you have to Obviously, just get with the flow, so it's fine. If 
Right, many miles out. Eighteen to be more precise. Might be in a bit of cloud because you can't see the ground or oh, it's very very faint. Oh no, now I can see the ground. Earlier I couldn't see it looked like there. I mean there is a lot of lights here and you can't see much. Must be a bit, bit of cloud cover of some sorts. I like the twinkle lights on the beating edge of the wing. Hmm. Those high points are giant. I think it's it's those little fins. Just little fins, just airflow fins. Ah, and presumably either some lighting it's is the wing lights just reflecting. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. got the wing lights. That's pretty smooth. Very nice. Just to able to show the PVR effect. Yep. Look at that turbulence again. Uh, Joe, yes, it's the Mr. X payware. Um, in the description below the video, I've got the payware and freeware from Mr. X listed. As far as I know, and I'm speaking under correction, this is the payware version. Because I have both, you know, depending on what I do, I switch between things. In effect, though, that turbulence must be less than six knots because there's no wind data. Yes. It's just crappy, unstable air. Yeah. Which can happen closest to ground because just high buildings. Okay, now look there how stable it is now, my trying. Crazy. Look how unstable it is now. drawing yes that is the difference between 85 percent and 80 in your turbulent strength when yeah. i put it on 80 it goes stable when i put it on 85 it starts bouncing ah. you were asking the other day what we were talking about is there really yeah. a big difference yeah. i've just shown you yeah. it's a hell of a difference between 85 and 80 percent so you're going to choose 83 yeah let's put it on 83 let's see what it does there it's on 83 now let's see because you want something but you don't want it ridiculous uh, why zach hello Two, four, left. Hmm. 
visibility and there is the ground, one and two buildings popping through. Wow, where's the runway? Where's minimums? Approaching minimums. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. How minimums? Really enjoy this. Zebo's laughing inside <laughs> of the EFB, he says landing rate, oh how happy. I think that is why, yeah, I think that is why he had to fix the landing right code because that was not a bad landing in anybody's books, man. <laughs> yeah, there we, there we go. 3,000 feet. Oh, remaining. damn, this was scary. I, I was, I was seriously at the point of just pulling back up and doing a go around and then I saw the runway and I said, okay, well, we went below minimums in real world. That will not happen, guys. So don't leave me a note and tell me I don't know how to fly. Um, this is not real world, this is just simulation and for our purposes, you know, we push the limits a little bit there. I know it's probably not the case at LAX, but aren't there some airports where you have to transmit on a frequency to turn the lights on? Uh, yeah, there are plenty of such airports. Maybe even right. them if you go is that simulated? The, uh, Sorry, my trying. Yes, Paul, in some instances, yes, it is. If you go to your EFB, Nico, is yeah. there, if you click on the landing rate, does it take you to a pop out window? Or anything oh, now? no, it's gone already. It didn't stay oh, long right. enough, so I didn't, didn't even try that. Look, we're going to load 22A shortly. And then we'll have a look, see what happens. Um, trying for your information, I'm going to leave the wind turbulence on 83 now. Um, yeah, 80, 85, fine. I think, is just a little bit too much. 80 is too little. Uh, I mean, the, the difference between 80 and 85 is significant. You can see it in the video. The one moment it's shaking, the next moment it just isn't. So I'd like to have something. So I'm going to leave it at 83 for your information. Yeah, well, we... Well, as you say, it's just that fine tuning. Isn't it? Exactly. Yes, you are. You're right. Um, the uh, animal anti cruelty league will not arrest us for chicken murder or anything. You know, no, no, no animals were harmed in the <laughs> production of this video. <laughs> <laughs> and when and when we get to the lap ramp, the pilot will stand in the crew doorway. Any passenger wishing give him any sweets or chocolate will be yes. much appreciated. Yes, yes, yes. And a nice ice cold Coca-Cola will go down well with the chocolate now. And Mark, I did try clicking on the um, bad landing report and I couldn't get anything to pop up. I don't know where that other data came from. The picture that I passed to them. Um, yes, Kevin, it's Active Sky. Um, we're playing with the turbulence um, a, a long time ago. Uh, between data I received from Twixter and uh, via the forum and obviously my own tests, uh, we had a specific setting that didn't break the Zebo. And um, I don't know, about two, two weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I'm not sure, somebody actually asked me to revisit the settings because they they are or they were not happy you know when it was it was last saturday with those strong winds in the uk they said to me it's just not giving them any turbulence you know because it was too restrictive so i started playing with it and if you go to the active sky setting of wind turbulence mine was at oh yeah now i'm gonna lie i can't even remember what it was it's in my in my private hangar the screenshot should still be there i think it was like 50 percent or less and uh, we've been 
playing with it, playing with it, because if you set it too high, if you put it on 100% the way Active Sky suggests you do, you basically break the Zebo. At some point in time, it's not made for it. It's not realistic. It's it's something that I'm just fine tuning in the background now. And me and McTrying were then talking about he's using 80%. And I had mine on 85% and you guys saw the difference in turbulence. When I had it on 85, there was turbulence. When I had it on 80, there was no turbulence. And so that's why I'm setting it at 83 right now. And uh, we'll, we'll give it a bash and see if that's a good setting for the Zebo. Because everybody wants some turbulence at some point in time, you know. But you don't want to get killed because of it. Uh, hello, into the Rick. Welcome. That's on default, Kevin. I think it's 70% default. Um, that's also a setting that I've changed because it was also very restrictive. I think it used to be on 35. and um, So I put it back on 70. I'll show you my settings just now. Let me just park and then we can quickly have a look at the settings. And you guys can experiment with me. is true but the big one of all my experimentation that I've done the big one seems to be um, the just the actual one that's called wind turbulence that's the big the big issue we have Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure the one in P3D is going to be relevant with the settings from X-Plane, you know, two different systems, but I'll show you what I've got for X-Plane. I hope this guy is closing his eyes as we are approaching him now. Shame. Um, what basically happened is on your tablet you see where it says the Zebo mod AXP Twister in that line it actually overwrites that line and it tells you um, your landing performance so it replaces the one line with the landing performance line Every tub. The Zebra tablet, Uncle Don. Yes, it does. Only a limited time and then it goes away. Alright, our next stop is going to be Oakland, so we're literally going to fly up north now. Um, 
but I just need a quick break before we start the next stream and I obviously need to update the Zebo. so if you guys can make another stream in a few minutes just look out for it it will pop up and um, we'll talk to you then otherwise we'll see you next time remember guys um, I'm mostly on Twitch in the week um, it's only if there's a very important reason that we come back to YouTube so don't forget to visit uh, the stream on Twitch Right, let's grab the active sky. Let's show you guys. Right, so that's my active sky. And if we go to maximum wind turbulence, it's currently set to 83. Um, when I had it on 85, it was a bit much. When I had it on 80, there was nothing. So in between 80 and 85 seems to be a place that we're going to have to find ourselves a sweet spot where it works, but don't kill the z -bone. And in terms of max surface wind that's default the turbulence scale is default um, default on that one we don't do ATC wind lock we do not disable winds loft we want them to be realistic okay um, interpolation is on uh, wake turbulence strength I've got at 35 default is 50 that's too much it will break the zebo if, you, if somebody flies in, in front of you and you go through that wake turbulence it's it's a killer so that one's definitely been brought down lower um, updraft um, and downdraft they default um, realistic thunderstorms enabled random light chop I don't know that's also default and then surface crosswind attenuation zero is default and then I definitely overwrite the explain turbulence I don't want any explain interference when we talk about the weather and that's my setting situation anything else I can interest you in before we disconnect Oh, that's great, Nico. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank you, Paul. Nico, just before you... Oh, yeah. you closed. What I was going to say is, when you implemented that change in the middle of the stream, yeah. did you actually apply yes. the change to you the have bottom to. of that one? Yeah, you that's all right. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. And, and I purposefully did it on stream so we can go back and review it because oh, you can definitely fine. see there's a big difference between the two. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Krista. Yep, we'll see you soon. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do one or two things and then I'll be back. And uh, if you guys can join me, that'll be swell. Otherwise, enjoy whatever it is that you're going to do. Thank Copy you time. once again for another yep. informative stream. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. <laughs>